But, um, welcome back everyone to vlog, I think it's number 16. I keep saying I think it's... But I honestly don't even check which vlog number. I have all of my older vlogs that I've edited and stuff saved. So, I kinda just do a little bit of guessing, but it's most likely vlog 16. So, welcome back and, um, uh, let's just hop right into it. Now what do I talk about? Yeah, I say, I'd say this, this week was pretty interesting. We did... The beginning of the week was more of just uh, getting back from break, so yeah, that was exactly as I planned it for my previous vlog, which was, if you do not remember, I'll probably put it up up there somewhere. So. Hopefully, you do not die through school. The shock of going back to school is very scary. Trust me. Yeah, it was pretty terrifying, but um. Other than that, the start of the week was pretty simple. It wasn't too crazy, just getting some work done and all that jazz. Other than that, this Friday, I had all I had all Friday off again. Thanks to Mr. Kalantar. Greatness. I say that, but I say that like as if it was a bad thing. It was actually really good though. It was pretty fun. We ran around doing promo videos for each of the teachers of all the various classes like art, band, floral. We did definitely did floral. If I'm missing anything, I'm sorry to those teachers. Look, you know how memory works. It just it comes and goes. But yeah, I'll show you a little clip of just us finishing up that for the day. So. Fact number one, did you know that it snows in the Sahara Desert? What does it say about the Sahara Desert? Deserts are known to have very low precipitation, and if rain falls where rare, wouldn't snowfall be even rarer? Well, the impossible happened in 2018, and the Sahara Desert was covered in a blanket of white snow. So, the snow only lasted for a day because the sun was too hot, which, that makes sense, because I'm the smartest news anchor there is. The first recorded snowfall was in 1979, and the snowstorm lasted half an hour. Although temperatures dropped to freezing in the night, the lack of moisture makes it almost impossible to produce any snow. But who knows? There are only two countries in the world where Coca-Cola does not exist. Can you imagine not living your life with Coca-Cola? I can too. So, the two countries are North Korea since 1950 and Cuba since 1962. So, bring a Coca-Cola to either one of these countries somehow and you'll, you'll manage to make Coca-Cola actually exist. But I doubt they don't have the internet. So, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Oh, so they actually do have Coca-Cola there. It's just called Ryonjin Cola or coca Coca Sparkling. So it's pretty much the same thing, but it it's just name different. It might not have the same taste, but okay, we've already gone through this number of facts, so we're gonna skip this one. Columbia's brightest rainbow is in its river. Oh. Normally you'd find rainbows in the sky, but the canoe Crystallis, also known as the River of Five Colors, beams brighter than any rainbow in the sky. I don't know if that's true or not, but teachers who know this stuff, you can fact check me and stop the video anytime you want and just completely obliterate this fact if you want, if that is possible. So, located in Colombia, Serena de la Macarena National de Natural Park, the stunning river owes its multicolored beauty to the Macarena 
Calave. Gara? Gravi Gara? I think that's how you say that? If I'm wrong, then I'm gonna be absolutely punished for this. Just kidding, I'm just playing. Next fetch is the Sahara Desert used to be a tropical rainforest. I'm not gonna say I'm surprised because of how much evolution theory we have, so I'm just skipping over this one. Look, facts are facts, but the news needs to be interesting. Machu Picchu is an earthquake-proof city. Now that's factually interesting. This ancient Inca town rests on top of a two fault line of two fault lines in Peru. In Peru. That means earthquakes were expected events, so how did they look through it? They created a brilliant engineering technique called Ashlar Masonry. The rocks are cut to fit perfectly together without mortar. So they move in place, and there's enough gaps that they move in its place during an earthquake. So that's actually pretty cool. I don't know actually how it works, but that's what I'm assuming it is. Oh. And I think this is a history thing. This is fact number seven. You can walk from Russia to Alaska on ice. You know, that you know how Native Americans got here? I'm going to let the teacher take place if they want to. If there, if the period involves this, so hope that was interesting. But I'm gonna read this anyway. Between Russia and Alaska lies the Bering Strait. When it freezes up in the winter, you can cross. You can journey across with 3.8 kilometers being the shortest end. Doesn't mean it's legal or safe, as the ocean winds are extremely cold and ice. Is this actually legal, or is this illegal? Because you're technically crossing into another country. They crossed 90 kilometers in 15 days before they were detained in Russia for violating immigration laws. So it is illegal. So don't do that. Another interesting fact. China has only one time zone. <laughs> How big China is, I'm going to agree with it. And I'm not even going to say anything. San Francisco, okay, this will be our last fact. I know, 10, there's actually 20 of these, so. Yes, I'm only gonna stop at 9 to make you angry and watch you make you watch more, okay? Okay. Gotcha. So, San Francisco's Golden Gate Bridge speaks. Uh, 2020. This is when I was found. Some of them reported hearing eerie sounds from several kilometers away. Huh. Interesting. That's all we have for today, and I'll see you next time. Other than that, I think that's all for this vlog. I do hope you've enjoyed. Now, I may not be dropping as much content because gameplay-wise, I don't think I have school-safe gameplay. Maybe I'll eventually play a game that's school-safe, and, you know, you guys might be interested. Who knows? It could be Minecraft. If this video gets 30 views, I'll play Minecraft. I don't know if that's going to be legit or not, but I might. I'll play maybe even a hardcore if it gets 50. And we'll have a journey through there. So, ask your friends, tell your buddies, get them to watch this video. I'm pretty sure you only need to watch like 5 seconds and you're good. So, honestly, I'm down to play some Minecraft. Honestly, I don't even think anyone got this far, but if you did, I really congratulate you and uh, have a nice day.